Hey guys and welcome to the third part of the tutorial series. Yeah, last time we uh, stopped here at this point where we can just build but not place. So let's do this now. Open up your first person character and go directly into the event graph. And here where we have some space, let's search for a left mouse button and let's create some branches. So we want to be able to place, um, yeah, the the actual ghost if we are able uh, are building and we are able to build. So we search for those two. Then we check our ghost if he is valid. So not that we uh, just click too fast. So there is no error. So and here we want to switch on the end, so we later can switch the different uh, structures. So let's make those two and let's get the ID. And here from the default zero one, we want to actually spawn the actor from a class, which will be actually the build one. So choose this. Then get from the ghost uh, world transform. Whoops. Again, world transform and plug it in here like this. So here we now need our uh, stop uh, function, which we created in the last video. So just search for stop, and here's our stop build, which uh, actually goes here to this point. So that's it. Let's see if we can actually do something. So get this and yeah, it's placed. Okay, now we need to um, yeah actually make this here uh, working so that we press on one. We actually want um, yeah our object to be uh, yeah the, the foundation. So get the BP ghost here, plug this in. Then from the BP ghost set the static mesh so we always st set the mesh we want here so for one it's actually the floor so the foundation which will be then the ghost and the ID which will be fired here should be set to zero because this is our default value so like this now if we actually press again we can Always, yeah. Why is this here? This is a bit weird. So let's just look into this. So place this one. Okay, this is <laughs> a bit weird. Yeah, just uh, let's continue with uh, my notice. So we we will get rid of this box. <laughs> So let's start here. If we have uh, the foundation and uh, the, yeah, the actor we are looking through is not in build actor, then we want here the fourth part to be is valid. It's valid. And again, the BP ghost here. And if it's uh, valid, then we want to make uh, change ghost to red, like this. not the correct one. Let me check this. Delete. So let's create this function. So just make ghost red, which will be first here our primitive component. So get the primitive, which will be actor, uh, which will be component, and one more, which will be the scene component. I don't know why I did this. Let me look this up. Okay, I made a mistake here in my notes. Just delete this, one is enough, and we can from here set material. So of our component, of our ghost, we want to make this red. So get the red ghost. Then are we able to build? Will be set to false. 
and we want to set the world transform. Hmm, like this maybe. Yeah, that's better. So get this like this. Then we want the impact point. We want to make the transform. And then we want to connect those two together. And after this, we want to go to the delay. Compile and save. Go back into the event graph. And now we can get here or make ghost red and can snap those two together like this. So, and if it's not valid, we actually want to spawn the ghost. Like this. And again, let's get the impact point and let's get the delay. So, and before we continue, let's actually go to the third person and actually make this off so we don't fire the projectile. So, what this does is that uh, actually, when we press F and press here F again, it yeah, still yeah, spawns it at, as a uh, Yes, it goes. Bef uh, before we did this, uh, we don't had this uh, spawn. So okay, let's uh, work on this now here. For this, we actually need to work here, and first we need a big macro. Or yeah, not really that big, but uh, yeah, we need <laughs> a macro. So call this one. Get collision helper, and here we need some variables which. Uh, will be the first one in the execution. This will be an input. Then we need a box collision, a hit location. Then we need the primitive component, just component. And we need an int, which will be the ID, I guess, or call it local ID and a rotation which will be the local rotation like this and we need two outputs so these two will be just executions out true and maybe false just change this to only true like this then we get a branch with an if. Then we want to check actually the box collision with the component. And if this is true, then we actually want to set the ID. So we make a new variable, which will be something like um, macro ID, because we just need it in there. But we need it not locally, because we also want to grab this variable in function, so make it a normal variable. Like this, and this comes from here. And from this one we want the world location. We want to get the world location. And we want actually also a macro, macro transform. So here get the transform file and save. Here we set this, then we break this variable. So we actually can set this here and we get the rotation so we make this and of course combine these two. So from the false we do nothing. Like this. So next up we go back to our event graph and here we actually make a new function which will be get collision. So here we actually need some inputs which will be an actor. So get the actor reference and hit actor maybe. And we need a primitive component which will be the hit component this. So we store this one. To, uh, actually we don't need to store this because we actually have it here. But let's just set this. Or do we 
just make a local variable for this. So call this hit component. Oops, there I made a mistake. Compo. And make a local behind because we have this. So here we cast to our build actor from the hit actor. And now we want to check some yeah the uh, hitted look uh, collisions. So we get foundation one, get foundation two, and actually we get foundation three and we get foundation four like this. We now need our macro, so the helper from the in and now we just compare it with the hit it, hit component local so we get our foundation plug this here in and plug this together and yeah just copy this over so from the false we go into the next check now we check for foundation 2 and we get the component local and check for those two then we can again copy this whoops can just Lead it. Foundation 3 will be checked. And from the 4, okay, again make this here. And we check for the last thing. So if you actually have yeah another mesh like I have, you can actually change here the rotation and stuff like this. We need this later for walls. For foundation, it's yeah not uh, really important. So leave it as it is. So for the last false here, we want to set the macro ID to zero, like this. And if you make more of them, you actually need to make this the last false. So here we now need a return. So we can plug these all together. Like this this one, this one, and this one. And our IDs will be here. Mm, let's make this one, two, three, and four. And from this point here, actually make two outputs, which will be the integer, which will be the local ID, or the macro ID. And we need the transform which will be the macro transform. So we get those two like this, compile and save it. And now we can go back to our event graph as it where is it here. And from this point we want to get the collision. So let's pull up this here together. And let's see if I missed something. Yeah, the is valid. Of course, the is valid. So, like always, do the is valid. Get the ghost. Combine these two. And if it's not valid, we actually want to uh, spawn the ghost. And then go to delay. Like this. The impact point as the location. And from here now, we can go. Uh, further. So get the hit actor and get the hit component. So this is initialized. And now, yeah, actually, I could probably make this another variable, but I think we can just set this here. Let's set this one here just to be sure that it's correctly set. It. So from the macro ID we want to switch on the int. So here it depends on which int we are. So get the one, two, three, and four. And from this we need a new a uh, new function which will be is found station. So compile or better let's make it not with question mark like this. So here we need to check our ID. So the ID we yeah we actually set with our keys. So this is an integer. 
and from this we want to switch on it and we want to make a, a default one which is the foundation we want to are we able to build to set to true and from all others so if we have for example wall on the key 2 and with the default value 1 um, then it will go to uh, the unbuildable so from 0 and from the default we want to make it buildable and from 1 and all others we want to make it unbuildable for this we make another variable make unbuildable oops with a small mistake D like this and we go into the event graph and whoops not in the event graph we want to its foundation and from here we can fire this then and we will initialize this later so maybe if we have one which will be wall and maybe window and so on we will you can add here more to make it unbuildable then so we get here from the buildable oh it's valid so here we can actually build if we hit uh, the, the foundation and we are, are on selection and foundation. So we want to set material here like this. It's green. And we want actually to set world transform. Which will become from here from a transform node. Transform like this and plug this in here and remove this one. Compile and again, if here spawn that's not valid and go to delay and get the impact point, of course. And from this one, we want to also go to delay like this. So we compile, can go into the event graph again. And from this point, we just need one, two, three, four, and these are the foundations. So one, two, three, four, which will be found one, found two, found three, found four. <coughs> and from zero, let me look this up. So here we want to get our first ID, not the macro ID connect these together uh, but the transform will be our macro transform and let's make another call on build able function so this one will fire if we can't build uh, yeah, an actor so get the are we able to build function and make it false then we want to get the bp ghost set material here we want to set it to red so type red and pick red and the next one will be set world transform so here we want to actually break or make this and we want to get the hit point so from this point we have then force and from there we want to go to delay so back into the event graph uh, call on buildable this one yeah, and uh, I checked uh, the collision and I did a small mistake. So let's get into build actor and actually let's correct these points here. So go into the front perspective and get this one and pull this up a bit. So I actually made here the mistake that I yeah have the snapping point under the ground. So Will the, the, the point of the mesh will be under the, the, the ground. So just pull this up again to align the foundation like this to zero. Then if we play now, can actually see, yeah, this is pretty good work. So here we are hitting the wall and because of this he cannot build. So if we go a bit higher, so the collision is from the wall is not hit it, then we can build again. Yeah, that's it actually. It's quite long this time, but uh, yeah, on the next video we will continue with the wall settings. And yeah, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, bye.